back, everybody. My name is Tank. Today, I want to share with you guys my thoughts about Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano. I'm going to cut to the chase and just give you guys my two cents. I don't like what I'm looking at. It sucks. It's sketchy for both bulls and bears. I'm giving my warning to both parties right now. I don't like what I'm looking at right now. It makes me feel funny like when I was climbing the rope in gym class. And not a good kind of funny. It's awkward. I don't like it. We're in this ascending wedge pattern, which is a bearish pattern. The same pattern that we've been in since initiating the pump on the 21st. Just because we came out of the pattern and back into it does not invalidate the fact that it is a bearish pattern. And now we're testing the support on this pattern for a third time, which normally I would absolutely love. But right now, I don't. Because the time frames between of when we last tested this support line is so close. Matter of fact, it's less than a day that it makes it look a lot more weaker than it is stronger. Usually when you have a third touch on a support line, if it holds up, that would be extremely, extremely strong. But right now, this looks extremely, extremely weak because we're testing this zone again in less than 24 hours. So we pumped up, great. We tested 50,000, we broke through, we got to $50,500. But ever since then, we've gotten pushed down hard back to the support line. Now, if we find ourselves in the middle and staying there, that'd be extremely bullish. That'd be a great test. There was a lot of things that converged right here on Sunday's uh, price action that made it very strong. EMAs, recent resistance that, that was flipped into support, this ongoing support line. There was a lot of support right there. It was a no-brainer that we were going to see higher price points. Options opened up right around the same time. But now we're getting pushed right back down to it. And look at the difference between this support line and this support line, which is, by the way, something that we just flipped yesterday. We just flipped previous resistance into support. That's not good. That's not very, very strong. Now, if it was like a week ago, maybe, because that shows price action staying above it for a long point of time. But that was just yesterday. I don't like the setup. It makes me feel funny. Ugh. If we don't hold up here, about $49,000, we could easily fall to here, which is about $48,000. And if these two don't hold up, we could easily poo-poo our pants all the way down to $44,000, which, by the way, is the last real level of support that held up for Bitcoin's chart. If we get to there, guys, I'm going to feel really, really scared and worried about our possibilities of making all-time highs again. Just pointing it out there. Be prepared. I always tell you guys, there's only three things that could ever happen. Either we dump, we go sideways, or we pump. The better you're prepared for all three scenarios, the better off you'll be. With that being said, let's jump on over to ETH. ETH, guys, we recaptured $3,300. Great. But look at that, guys. We're right back down to it. We're, again, getting smacked down to our current level of resistance. I want to see us break above it and stay above it. Right now... According to Market Set for B, it doesn't look like we're going to do that. We're back in the red on all time frames going down to the one hour time frame. Doesn't look good. More than likely, we'll come back into this middle section here and just range going sideways. Because if you guys don't know, if you guys haven't been doing your homework outside of the charts, there's a lot of talk on the Reddit forums of miners attacking the gas prices uh, for Ethereum, making transactions harder. That could be what's holding us down right now ever since launching EIP-1559. We, I know a lot of people are expecting or were thinking that we'd be seeing much higher price points, but obviously the miners were not happy with that, right? So go ahead and do your homework about that. I don't have too much time to talk about it. But if we do not hold this middle section here, we could easily fall back down to our previous level of support, which would suck because that brings us down to $2,900, $3,000 or so. We need to hold up these prices. If we don't, I'm going to feel real sketchy. I'm going to feel real, real sketchy, guys, about us pumping further. Like I always say, realize profits while you have profits to realize. Don't hold them all the way back down because they come and go very quickly in this game. Those profits and gains could be taken from you as quickly as they were given. If you don't realize profits, you're a dum dumb. I'm just saying. I'm not calling anybody names. But yeah. If you're going over to ADA, ADA's a little different. ADA, ADA's like... Uh, like the special child in the family, right? Everybody loves ADA. ADA has a lot of bullish things happening for ADA right now. It's trading at $2.88. We went all the way up to $2.95 just recently today before being pulled back down to where we are currently. That's fine. As we get closer and closer to $3, like I said, whole numbers, you're going to get met with some resistance, people taking profits. That's normal. We need to recognize sell-offs, 
drawdowns, pullbacks, whatever you want to call them. If we're going to be recognizing higher price points, healthy higher price points in the future, that's normal, right? But as far as the bullish things happening for ADA, Japan is getting ADA listed on their exchanges, if not already, um, at the end of this month. Like or if, like I said, if not, or it may have already happened. I'm not exactly sure, but I know it was supposed to happen in the late part of this month. Uh, also, Coinbase listed their exchange in Japan which just brings more and more exposure to these assets. One of them being ADA. ADA has smart contracts that are supposed to be released on the 12th of next month. Once that happens, the floodgates of developers will be able to start actually working on the platform. A lot of people have been patiently waiting for that to happen. So overall, so overall guys, I'm sorry, I'm stuttering. I'm not even gonna edit that. Overall, a lot of bullish things happening for ADA. I really don't see any downside right now with ADA other than obvious sell-off pressure coming in at whole numbers, big psychological numbers. Uh, people that bought in really, really early will obviously probably be taking profits, like I said, take profits when they're there to be realized. Maybe not the whole thing, but at least some, right? You don't wanna lose your whole bag. But yeah, that's what I'm seeing right now for ADA. I'm not even gonna go into lower time frames because like I said, there's really no point. It is just pumping. We've seen price increases every day, about four to seven cents. There's really no point in uh, doing any kind of TA on it it's above the EMAs. We're deep in the green. We've been that way for some time now. Nothing else has really changed. Even if the RSI is flattened out, I mean, it's bullish. With that being said, guys, remember what I said about Bitcoin and ETH. Be mindful. I'm warning you guys right now. I try to give you guys my unbiased opinion about what I'm seeing each and every day. That's just what I'm seeing. I could be totally wrong. Hopefully I am. But that's what I'm seeing. I don't like it. If you guys don't know, I have a giveaway happening on this channel. I'm giving away a 50 inch flat screen TV to one lucky subscriber once we hit 1,000 subs. So do me a favor, smash that like, smash that sub button. Could be you that wins it just for being supportive. Like always, don't extend, don't overextend, don't over leverage, stay in profits, be blessed, peace.